Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at those of you who are males who have significant placements of Sun Sign Scorpio and placements of Sagittarius and Taurus in your birth chart. Before we get into your reading, I would like to invite you to book your personal session with me at my website www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link in the description box under this video. Also, I want to invite you to follow and support my other social media accounts. Um, you can find that information below this video. I post different types of readings over on those other social media sites as well as other promotions and discounts and sales and things of that nature that I feel you would be interested in. So make sure you go take a look at that. So getting into the reading, we're taking a look at those of you who are sun sign Scorpio males with other significant placements, specifically of Taurus and Sagittarius in your birth chart. So before we get into the actual um, tarot cards, um, some messages that I have for you is initially, um, I'm getting a very exciting energy because I feel like you're going to get some amazing and wonderful news in regards to you being able to establish some sense of freedom or independence for yourself. I feel like this news is coming to you sooner than what you were anticipating and I feel like it's going to make you really excited because I got really, 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 really excited like positively overwhelmed. It's almost like a little kid who um, is getting candy or like a little kid like when they like start opening gifts on Christmas. So I feel like some of you, you know, are in a very like joyful, elated, happy state because you're getting some type of um, information that I feel you like had hope for it, but you didn't know it was going to come so quickly. Okay. I do see as well, some of you um, may have to go to rehab. This might be included in whatever this sense of freedom that you are getting. So upon receiving some great news about you getting some type of like newfound freedom or newfound independence or this being reestablished in your life, I do see it comes with you um, needing to essentially agree to going to get some type of like rehabilitation. For some of you... Um, it definitely has to do with like drinking or maybe like drugs some type of drug usage is what I'm seeing um, but yeah so it, it could have to do with some type of like something that you ingest okay drugs drinking something that um, essentially is a method for escape some it, it's it's some type of um, I want to say something that you consume that allows you to escape and this would be because there are things that you have dealt with in your life that has essentially I feel like traumatized you um, for some of you and then I'm also getting like post-traumatic stress disorder so some of you may also have PTSD from the things that you have been through or experienced in your life i feel like a lot of you have like repressed this so some of you could have anger issues as well too due to this like resentment anger issues um and this could come up and um maybe you lash out in like random moments because this is due to the things that you have dealt with that you have not necessarily um sought out professional help previously but i see whatever this is that you are dealing with you do have to go to get some type of counseling is what I'm seeing. So I, I'm hearing I'm hearing AA. So once again, this, this could have something to do with drinking specifically, but whatever it is, I feel like it's some type of rehabilitation to do with drugs, alcohol, okay? And maybe sex for some of you as well too. But strongly more so drugs and alcohol, okay? I see for some of you, you've struggled with several types of addictions over the course of your life for a really long time i feel like for some of you these habits that you have um developed have been very challenging and difficult for you to um shape to overcome i feel like as well too because a lot of you never had the support of individuals who truly cared or who truly wanted to see you um get better that that's how you felt or you haven't had people around you who motivated you and encouraged you. So maybe you were around other individuals who kind of, um, 
they aided this because they they may have participated in the similar type of activities so essentially it's like for you to change this habit it would essentially require for you to remove yourself from these individuals who you may have been around for a really long time is what I'm saying so that could have also been another part of the reason why you just kind of continue to do this even though I feel like some of you have always wanted to um, move forward in your life and establish new and better habits but like I said you you never really felt like you had the support and you never you, you felt like you would be lonely okay because I'm hearing lonely at the top you felt like you would be lonely if you were to do this because of the individuals who you are around who essentially you have this in common with them But I see some of you just finding some type of new wealth, okay? Um, and it's not like monetarily. I'm getting like, there's some other type of wealth that you're seeing. So maybe you're just appreciating life more and you're seeing life as like a gift. Um, maybe for some of you, you feel like you have a second chance. So you feel like this is some sense of newfound wealth. But I feel like I'm hearing spiritually as well, too. So maybe some of you have like really developed and tapped into like your spiritual side, your spiritual nature, really connecting to your soul. OK, and I just feel like maybe taking a, um, a look from a spiritual perspective, you feel like life is more precious or you feel it's more rich, it's more abundant. Um, and maybe before when you were. Maybe before you didn't feel like you, you really had much to live for or you felt like um, maybe you just didn't take life seriously, okay? Maybe you just never looked at life in that manner before, like life being a gift. But I see you all now wanting to take the opportunity and really establish like new foundation for yourself. I see some of you really stepping into a position where I feel like maybe some of you are, um, you've reached some type of turning point. So maybe... Maybe you are, it's interesting. It feels like some of you are stepping into more mature energy. This could be because you've hit a mature type of milestone, maybe age-wise, and you feel like um, it's time for you to really start taking things more seriously, be more responsible, or this could be just upon the onset of some type of experience that's really made you have to um, look at life from a whole new perspective. I'm getting you've got a new trajectory about life. So this is helping to, because you've shifted your mindset, I feel like your whole life is about to shift and change now. This, this could also just be you getting more serious and more uh, intentional about being mature, being responsible. And just really being um, grown up is what I'm getting. And then I also feel like as well too, some of you may be ready to settle down. You may be ready to commit. You may be ready to get married. You may be ready to establish and have your own family. Or you could just, if you already have children, you may be wanting to just be a better role model to your kids as well too. So for your kids that you have, you, you, you feel like, okay... I'm hearing it's now or never. Like you, you feel like you need to be the change that your kids need to see. You you need to step up and be the role model that you never had. Um, is what I'm getting for some of you. And then for those of you where you don't have kids yet, I just feel like you're you're feeling like you want to be able to be a positive role model and a positive example when you do have kids. And I feel like you're starting to set that the, those um like established that foundation now i feel like a lot of you are really just thinking about your future and your lineage so i feel like a lot of you are really inspired and motivated by this like what you can really accomplish i feel like a lot of you are starting to really feel like that you can accomplish a lot now like i just feel you feel very motivated and very inspired and you feel like you can do this okay like you, you feel like you can do it and that like nothing's gonna stop you from doing it very strong um strong-minded energy um, about the direction that you want to take your life is what I'm seeing. Okay, so getting into the cards, I feel like some of you are making the decision that um, you're needing to 
move forward and there are certain individuals who cannot come with you on this next part of your journey because I feel like you're being more intentional you're being more serious in regards to what you are trying to establish and I feel like some of you have definitely had a lot of time to reflect and get clear and realize that there are certain individuals who have been associated with you not being as healthy or being as balanced or stable as you could be this could be because these individuals are blessing blockers this could be because these people are just um i feel like these people bring instability into your life so you could be correlating as well too that these indi like having certain individuals and I'm, like i said i'm getting a very strong feminine energy um, but having these individuals in your life, it's like they bring in, I'm hearing mental instability. So they could make you question your judgment or they could make you do things that don't, um, allow you to make the best decisions. So these could be people who don't give you good advice. They could condone you doing, um, reckless or low vibrational or negative type of, um, activities. And I feel like it's not conducive to what you're trying to do and the progress that you've made thus far so you are gonna come to the realization that these individuals you cannot have these individuals in your life um as well too i feel like because there's new love that i'm picking up here for you so i feel like whether you already have your eyes on someone or this is just the direction that you know you're being guided to take to allow new love to come into your life i mean that's just going to be the next next natural step like you're going to have to release the old so that the new can come in is what i'm seeing and then you're you're going to be moving towards more stability and i feel like you're you're going to see your money stabilize you're going to see your household stabilize um i just feel like your life is going to move forward and progress in a certain type of manner um that is aligned with like what you what you know is possible like i feel like you're about to see the impossible be possible and it's all due to the fact that you're you've made the intention to do better and upon you doing that you're going to have to relinquish old relationships as well too